Usually I have so much neuroses surrounding watching myself. Not this time. We have bigger fish to fry. I'm so excited that this movie is coming out. Uh, mostly because it's such a good movie and, and I like good movies. Badass Woman feels like a great title. I mean, yeah, I was watching back some uh, EPK for this movie and I forgot that my trapezoids are like triangles from my earlobes to here. I was jacked and it was so fun. Yeah, a dream come true. Yeah, the, the stuff that we shot together without spoiling anything was our last week of filming and it just felt like, yeah, the, the dream cherry on the dream Sunday doing a week with Hillary Swank. And I realized that the scene we did together is in a kitchen and I've done so many kitchen scenes in my career as an actress and none quite like this one. <laughs> I cannot believe it. It's been a long time coming, uh, but I'm, I'm excited people finally get to see what all the fuss is about. I say it is impossible to be offended by something that you haven't seen yet, so before you make an opinion, go see the movie. It's awesome. The two things I like at movies are like scares and laughs, and this movie has both those, so they did a great job. I really love watching the movie with an audience, just seeing them react. I think as they, they, they bought their tickets knowing that uh, that people were going to die in this, but I still, th there's a, a weird delight and surprise as each person gets bumped off. As the audience slowly realizes, I think everyone in this movie is going to die. Um, it's a little bit masochistic, but then again, you know, uh, if they like the Hunger Games, we have a lot more fun with it. I'm, ex I'm excited to see, experience it with an audience. We really wrote this movie for audiences to see. Like, we just sort of constructed so many moments. Like, as people who've worked in TV before, Damon and I, like, we really thought about a crowd and what kind of moments would sort of create that that special sort of ooh and ah thing in a theater. So that part is extremely exciting. Oh, it's totally shocking. It's totally a satirical look at the political divide today. No one even gave it a chance. I think when people see it, they're going to be like, well, what was all the big deal about? But they're going to love the movie. Oh, she's great. Uh, have you seen the movie? I have. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you saw what she does to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, she's, she's, she's awesome. She's very athletic because she was doing Glow the wrestling show on HBO, so she was very athletic. She was like rolling all over the place, hitting me with this, kicking me with that. Yeah, she's, she's badass. <laughs> you know what, I haven't seen the movie. This is my first time. Well, I just want to see the whole thing put together. We had such a good time making it. It was about a year ago, and we just laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed. And of course, never expected in a million years that it would turn out to be this controversial thing. So it's very exciting. I don't think anybody comes off terribly well, honestly. <laughs> yes, I think everybody's in for a nice surprise at how badly everybody comes across. Misbehaving. Everybody's misbehaving. Amy Madigan is everything you would hope she would be. She's hilarious and tough and really fierce. So, uh, and I've admired her for so many years and it was just great to meet her and have her be so great and down to earth and funny and fun. Betty and I did a play together in New York City in 2015 where I played her horrible father. <laughs> so she now has a chance for some payback. I'm really excited to watch it with an audience. I've only seen it once by myself on a computer like this. So I'm really excited to see the audience response because it's going to be such a fun thing to watch live. And I definitely have favorite deaths. Really the sound effects of the deaths are, are my personal favorite. I feel very proud. I feel like Invisible Man is that and, and this movie and I'm, I'm very proud of it. Um, more women, more young women see our movies than men so they should be in the movies more than the men should be. What kind of sick people would even think of something like that? White people. We're the worst.